And here's another crazy trick that makes absolutely no sense. And it's a negative this time. Let me know what you think this trick would be called. The original poster called it a negative sweat acid, but I think that doesn't do it justice because it is somewhat an alley-oop trick if you see the back foot. Shout out to the person who shared this on my subreddit. I appreciate it a lot. But anyway, what up? This is Brandon here. Welcome back to Blader News, your number one rollerblading news show. And once again, you're not going to believe this, but we are sponsored by Squarespace. On a side note, thank you so much to everyone for your beautiful response. I couldn't ask for a better response to the last sponsorship. I really appreciate you guys. It really could have gone either way. But anyway, we'll hear more about them later. Before we roll into it, I want to dedicate this episode to Dima McRussian. He is a Russian rollerblader that had so much steez and brought so much of blading and sadly passed away very recently. It was only a few weeks ago that I was watching his skating being blown away with how cool he made everything look. But he wasn't only just a really good skater, he was a really stand-up dude and a huge asset for his community and blading in general. This is a huge loss for everyone. My thoughts are with his friends and family. I also want to dedicate this video to Julian Isaac, another rollerblader taken way too soon. Another exceptional dude that meant a lot to a lot of people for a very good reason. Another huge loss for the community. I take this moment as a reminder that life is very fragile. Tell the people you love, you love them today. Things could change overnight, you never know. Don't take people for granted. On a much lighter note, let's just jump right into product news. And the first product I want to talk to you about today is a new rollerblading game that just came out and it's the first of its kind. It's the first speed skating rollerblade racing game to ever come out as far as I know. I'm probably wrong, actually, now that I say it out loud. It's the coolest one anyway. It's made by fellow YouTuber Pascal and is out right now on Android and is coming to iOS very soon. It's probably out right now. I think it's just in the back end, so knowing my luck, it's probably out right now. The links will be in the description. Pascal completely made this game from scratch, completely self-taught, with no help and no experience in the industry. He did such a good job. Over the last two years, he's been working on it and it's came together so well. This is a very solid game as someone who's played it personally. I've never been into speed skating at all and I really enjoyed this game. So I highly encourage you to check it out. It is the most expensive app I have ever bought and probably will ever buy, but try not to think of it as an app. Think of it as a game. This is two years of work that Pascal has put into it and it's worth every dollar, if you ask me. Definitely check it out. Pascal making this all by himself is a huge testament that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. If there's that thing you've been wanting to do, I want you to start it today. Do it today. Use this as your excuse. Start right now. You won't regret it. Huge congrats to Pascal for this achievement. Like, I'm so impressed by this, man. And for our first new skate today, Fabiola got her first pro skate, which is, I can't believe I'm saying that. That's absolutely ridiculous. She should have had hundreds of pro skates by now. Funny thing about this one is she can't even skate it because it's a kid skate which I think is super selfless, really cool thing to do. Her first pro skate is for the kids. Coming in the sick colorway, it is the Celtic Birth Legacy skate. It is the best skate you can get if you've got a kid getting into skating. Definitely check it out. And then that God's Boot that's been teased on the Dis Royale distribution website all year finally got released and it turns out to be God's first ever hard boot, a pro boot for Tim Franken. This boot may look familiar to you and that's because it is the same mold as the USD7 or the USD Grycon. I don't know if that's the same thing. I don't really know, but anyway, this skate looks really good. It features a new Prime liner from MyFit, which we know nothing about, but it looks good regardless. And it's received a decent amount of backlash for being a new brand, bringing back an old boot and like selling it for a lot of money. It's a weird vibe, but I think these look good. I think they're a good improvement from the USD7. And the USD7 was a good skate in itself, so I'm glad it's not gone. I'd love to know your thoughts though. Let me know in the comments. And then we got a huge leak from Rollerblade about a brand new aggressive skate made by their co-company Blank. Now I wasn't too sure if I was going to include this in the show and if Rollerblade's seen this and they don't want to put it in, please let me know. I'll cut it out straight away. I'm assuming since Roller News talked to the marketing manager for Rollerblade and got a quote from them that they're kind of okay with it now. They kind of come to the conclusion that everyone's already seen this skate. Uh, but if not, I'll take it down. Please let me know. But anyway, this is the skate. It looks really cool. It's a nice stock looking aggressive boot and another one to add to the aggressive boot line. The official release for these is on the 15th of October and they'll be in stores on November 4th. So stay tuned for that. And damn, how is there so many leaks and rollerblading? It's pretty crazy. It's a pretty tight knit community, right? Who's out there leaking shit? <laughs> the Crate Original OG frame is back in stock. Coming in four colors now, gray, black, white, and green. They're looking fresh and it's another solid frame that you definitely can't go wrong getting. And then muzzle and solar equipment teamed up to bring you a brand new product, shock sheets. This is a sheet of material that you cut to the shape of your boot 
to be a shock absorber pretty much and get rid of that clacky sound in your skates. Now these will fit any skate because of the way they've done this. The sheet, you just gotta cut it out yourself. It's like grip tape for skateboards, except it's a shock absorber for rollerblades. This is really smart. I love this idea. Shout out to those companies for killing it. They're available at them goods right now too. And then we got this geniusly shaped wax called the slip and slide wax. Look, it's got the perfect edges for ledge as well as coping. And this is real cheap stuff. So definitely grab this if you need some more wax. And still talking about wax, there was a collab with uh, TX Blade Wax and them to make this beautiful bar here. It's so simple, but it looks so good. It actually looks really fast as well. Just look how shiny it is. I bet you this is one of the fastest wax on the market. So if you're in the need for wax, you've got options right now. Check out either one. Before we move on, we're just gonna have a quick word from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the best place to make your website. With their all-in-one platform, you can easily make a modern, professional looking website Within a day, easily. I put together an online store in 25 minutes. They're not just good for online stores too. They offer a ton of design templates that are good for any purpose, from portfolio to blogs. Every template I've seen is very modern and great looking too. All you need to do is tick the box of the style website you want, find a template you like, and put your content over onto your website. As simple as that. Squarespace gives you the ability to make a professional looking website even if you have no experience in making websites. One of the best parts of making your website through Squarespace is you do it all yourself. This means that if you ever need to update your website, add something to it, change a mistake or something, you can easily do it yourself. No longer will you have to pay someone to do it or wait for someone to do it. You can easily get in there and change it as quick as you can, as soon as you have time, saving you money and time. So whether you already have a website, you're looking to make your first website, or you're not even sure if you want a website, I highly encourage you to do it with Squarespace by going to squarespace.com slash Brandon Drummond. Using my link will give you a 14 day free trial, which is plenty of time for you to trial out Squarespace and see why it is the best platform to make your website. And when that happens, you can use the code Brandon Drummond to save 10% of any purchase of a domain or website. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and thank you so much to everyone who clicks my link below. Supporting the sponsors supports me. So definitely check them out, especially if you're looking to make a website. They're the best platform, trust me. I wouldn't be taking them on if that wasn't the case. Now back to the normal show. And now let's move on to my favorite part of the show, media you should check out. And it turns out you guys do know what I'm saying there, which is good to know, right? That wasn't just a couple comments. Post your stuff on my subreddit so I can share it on the show. That's the only way to do so. Link in the description. For the first time in a long time, I have an article you should check out and it's a really good read. It's a let's get personal one mag interview with Tree. You know, the guy whose knees you're really jealous of with all those mind blowing tricks on Instagram, who's been posting daily with just nothing but really good clips. That guy, yeah. This article is a really good read. Tree is a really good dude. He's doing so much cool stuff in his life. And if you don't know who he is, you're really sleeping on some cool shit and blading. Definitely check this article out, especially the end. I really respect Tree for getting into the bit he gets in at the end. And then we got a really good street edit from Billy Merton for his Welcome to the Capital Rollers team section. It is the perfect standard for what a street edit should be like. Super creative, solid different skating, different spots, challenging. I really enjoyed this one. It's got some really good skating in it. I highly recommend watching it before your next street session. It'll get you pumped. Really good vibes. Speaking of dope street edits, Older Blading has you covered with this Dylan Hop on Razors edit that is so steezy and so cool. It actually had me wanting to skate Razors again, which is a thought I haven't had ever since I sold my shifts on eBay. The way he locks into these grooves, the steezy puts into skating here, it had me so pumped. Dylan absolutely kills it in this. But Older Blading's channel in general is so good. You're sleeping on it if you ain't subscribed. Definitely subscribe to his channel. He posts edits like this all the time, super high quality. It, it'll keep you motivated to skate. Definitely check this edit out and then his whole channel. And then we've got to give Elite Yeath a huge congratulations for surpassing 365 days of blading in a row. He did that by posting this edit here. Now, when you see that title, you might think this is like a compilation of his skating over the last year, but no, he filmed this whole edit in one day and it is not a throwaway edit. It's got some good tricks in there, man. I was very impressed. Huge congrats to him. Keep killing it, dude. And I'll see you over on Twitch later today, I hope. I think the title B and Blade fits this next one really well. I don't really understand the title, but I understand this edit, you know, it is super chilled. Every trick is like so solid, just the sound of every trick locking. I'm telling you, it's just like, there's something so satisfying about it. The whole edit here, so solid. The vibe's so good. Definitely check this one out as well. 
And then to finish off this part, we have my absolute top pick of the Fortnite, and that is Plastic Pushes 2. This video is ridiculous. I cannot emphasize that enough. Everyone in it is just absolutely insane. But if I have to highlight Swin, Jesus, it's just every trick in there, man. Oh my God, dude, that dude is insane. But also Levi as well. Oh my God, dude, there's so many like points in this edit that just like, they don't make any sense. He did like a 270 front side on the under rail on the outside of a rail. And I think you would have seen that already probably in clips. But like, that isn't even the highlight of the edit. There is so much good shit in this. It is a long one, but it is very good. Definitely don't sleep on this one. And shout out to the Buzzcar branding crew who watched it with me on stream. I appreciate y'all. Speaking of, the day I upload this, I will be live unboxing some new skates over on Twitch. They'll be linked in the description. I would love to see you there. Come tell me all the news I miss. I'll love to hear it live. <laughs> Breaking news. We've had our first VOD to come out in such a long time now, and it is a VOD from Montre Livingstone, his 2021 part, and it is worth every cent. It's a $5 minimum donation to get it for this four minute and 45 second long edit. It is absolutely worth it. I would encourage you to spend at least double that. I've watched it now and it is absolutely worth it. We all know Montre can throw down hard and he doesn't hold back for this edit. It is exceptionally good. I'm gonna show you this clip here of the 450 front Nugent, but that like, it's nowhere near the best part of this edit. That's kind of just the, the standard of the whole way through. It is exceptional. Shout out to Montre. He absolutely kills in this. Check that one out. Now this last clip I'm going to show you is absolutely insane. I know I say that a lot, but this one's insane. It's got some negative tricks that I had to like triple look at to understand and it's in a line. This one comes from Ruben Collins. Thanks for sharing this on my subreddit, dude. You're the man. If you guys want to do me a huge favor though, can you like and subscribe, especially if you like this video. It really helps me out. I want to give a huge thank you to my Blade News correspondents, James, Matt, Sonic Sports, Sweet Moves, and Xander, as well as the rest of my patrons and members. They're really helping me out right now. Really helping me out. Shout out to them. But anyway, here's that clip I was talking about. Prepare your mind. I'm going to play it a couple times because the first trick is an alley of unity. And I know that's not the name of a trick. Anyway. Play the clip. <laughs> 